Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Hassan, and today we are going to create form in Elementor Pro plugin in WordPress. Before starting work, it's my request please subscribe my channel. Thank you. Now back to our work. So we are using Elementor Pro plugin. On left side you see elements and then you see search widget. So right here form and then you see form element. So drag and drop here. So this is default form added. You see name, email, message. On left side you see form field and then you see form name. So you can add form name according to your requirement. And then you see name, email, message. And then you see add item button. And then you see input size. Now small. So click on it and you can select extra large. Now you see input size is changed. So you can select input size according to your requirement. Now you see label. So this is name, email, message label. Currently show. If you want you can hide. Now you see hide. So again label and you see required mark. So enable. Now you see email is required. Now click on name. And then you see two tab content and advanced. Now you see type text drop down. So you can select type according to your requirement. And then label name. And then you see placeholder. And if you want you can enable required field here like this and then you see column width for desktop 100% width then click on advanced tab and you see default value if you want you can add default value also like Asan. Now you see this is default value so if you want you can add it and then you see ID name and short code so you can use this short code in custom messages also now click on email. And then you see type email, label, placeholder required and column width 100% and in advanced tab you can add default value and also you see message, text area, column width and you see rows. So you can increase also like this increase or decrease. Then click on add item. So click on it and now you see type. So select type like telephone. You can add label here. If you want you can add placeholder like this. And if you want you can make it required. And now you can select column width also for desktop. Also you can change position. So drag and drop like this. Now you see phone move to above email. Now we are going to set column width for desktop layout. So click on name. And then click on content. Now you see column width 100. Select 50 and again click on phone. Select column with 50. Now you see two columns show in one row in desktop layout. If you want you can show three columns in one row. So it's depend on you. Now you see column width so you can select any width here according to your requirement. But this is for desktop. Now click on it and now you see here tablet and mobile. So click on mobile. Now you see mobile cover default width. If you want you can show two column in one row in mobile layout also like this 50% and then again click on name and we are in column width select 50% now you see two column in one row in mobile layout on top you see responsive size desktop tablet mobile so again click on desktop again click on add item so item added and type so now you see select Radio checkbox, number, date, time, file upload. You can select according to your requirement like radio. Now you see option. So you can add radio option here. So you can add A, press enter, B, C. So in this way you can add radio button A, B, C. And then again click on type. And then here you see select. So now you see drop down ABC press enter. This is drop down. So you can select field according to your requirement. So add label here. Now you see if you want you can enable multiple selection also required. Then scroll down. Here you see button. So click on it. And then you see button size small, medium, large. So you can set according to your requirement and also width like this. And also position left align. So you can select option according to your requirement. Then you see submit button. So you can change submit. 
like this if you want you can add icon also icon library so you can select insert now you see icon added here also you can set icon position before after like this and scroll down icon spacing here you can set like this now you see icon spacing if you want you can add button id for some styling if you want to make some custom style then scroll down you see action after submit so again click on it now you see add action so currently click submission and email is added click on it and now you see redirect different option here get response pop up so you can add according to your requirement here so by default collect submission and email is good now click on collect submission now you see collected submission will be saved to elementor submission section so go to wordpress dashboard again and now you see elementor and submission so click on it now you see all form submission here if you want you can export all to csv you can view or delete submission also now back to page again and now you see email so again click on it so you can add your email here and submit now you see message all field when user submit this form then you will receive all information on your email so you can add your email here and then you see dynamic tag if you want you can add some tag here so it depend on you and then scroll down you see from email so you can add from email here and then you see from name and reply to if you want you can add cc vcc and then you see send as html or plain so it depend on you and then you see additional option so again click on it if you want you can add some custom messages so enable this option so you can add some custom message according to your requirement and then scroll up you see style so again click on it and then you see column gap here and also you see row gap label spacing text color if you want you can change like this and now you see mark color you can change also typography so click on it and you can add font family size weight transform style so you can do setting according to your requirement and then you see field so click on it and you see text color on field like this and now you see background color if you want you can add background color border color border width and then you see button so you can add button background color text color here and now you see message so you can add success message color and then click on update so page update done now go to web page and refresh the page now you see form is added so you can create form according to your requirement in elementor pro plugin so i hope you like this video please like comment share subscribe thank you for watching